In this tutorial video, I'm going to be teaching you how to glaze your face mug. So if you've underglazed before, we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to be glazing um, by putting two to three coats on all the areas that we would like to color. Now for this project, what I'd like you to do is leave the skin color the color of the clay. Once we dip it in clear, the clay is going to turn either a gray or cream color, and it um, is looks pretty good if we just leave it the color of the clay. So I'm going to ask that you do not paint the skin for this project. Other than that, you can use complete creative freedom to add different things to your face mug. You could even draw on tattoos, you could paint the, the hair different colors, put freckles, all those little details. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch and then once in a while I'll draw your attention to specific things that I'd like you to look at. So here I first start with putting the white on the eyes and the teeth. This will give us a base color to make sure that we get those whites really popping. Now I'm gonna go in and do the eyes. Remember, when it comes to the eyes, you need to put the pupil in. Um, if you want it to look like it doesn't have a pupil or something, you can go ahead. But in order to make it look realistic, if that's what you're going for, you want to make sure that you include a black pupil. What I'm also going to do is take a little bit of pink and go around the waterline of the eye. This is to make it look a little bit realistic, a little bit more dramatic. So you can do this if you would want. Um, a little bit here, I'm also going to put a little bit of green around the edges of the eye, kind of to simulate um, like eyelashes or something. It's up to you. You could do include it or not. I just decided to see what it would look like and play around a little bit. All right, now it's time for the lips. Now when I was doing the lips, I decided to try to get like a blended color. So trying to put some lines, seeing if I could get some textures in there. Um, I didn't end up liking it very much, so I grabbed some water and I just um, blended it in a little bit. So go ahead, if you want, you can play with painting on different shades for the lips, see what that will look like. Oh yeah, freckles. I ended up adding freckles to see kind of what it would look like too. All right, so now that I'm finished with the underglaze, I'm gonna go in the back of the classroom and mix up the clear. Remember to really mix it up so that it is the right thickness. Then you're gonna grab some tongs, grab your mug, okay? Take it, dip it into the glaze once, put it in straight out, dump it out. Then put it on the side to dry and come back into three to four minutes when it's completely dry and clean off the bottom. Okay, so that's it. That's how you glaze your face mug. <laughs> 